Okay, so today we're looking at integrating that corresponds to finding the area between two curves. So consider just two arbitrary functions, f of x and g of x, and let's say f is above g. Then if we want to find the area between these two curves in a certain region, so let's just draw on these limits if this is a, and then this is b. And so between these limits, the area we're looking for is this one then it turns out there's a really nice formula for this in terms of integration. So if I just denote a for the area, then the area is going to be just the integral of f, f of x, between the limits of a and b, and then you subtract off g of x, dx. So let's think about why this formula makes sense. So we know that integration is linear, so this is essentially saying we integrate f first between a and b, dx, and then we subtract off the integral of g of x, between the limits of a and b. That's exactly the same formula. So we integrate f, then we subtract the integral of g. So let's think about ge this geometrically. So we can sketch off um, the two functions separately. So if I try and replicate this function f, if this is f of x, and if we sketch on the limits a and b, then if we integrate between a and b of f of x, it's going to give us this whole region between f and the x-axis. And so if we just want this upper region, we just subtract off the integral of g. So let me try and sketch that again. g is this straight line here. And if this is g of x between the limits of a and b, then if we integrate g between a and b, it's going to give us this region. So you can kind of see that if we want just this upper region, we integrate f entirely, and then we subtract off this lower region, which would just be this one down here. And so we cancel off this area and we're just left with the area between f and g. So this is why this formula makes sense. We're now going to look at an example so we can kind of get an idea of how this works. Um, but I'm just going to wipe off the board and then we'll look at that. Okay, so let's look at this example. We have these two functions. Um, this is a quadratic, so it's x times 4 minus x. And then we have a straight line, so y equals x. And the problem here is to find the area between these two functions in this shaded region. So before we just saw this was going to be an integral between zero and this intersection point, but we don't actually know what this intersection point is yet. So the first part of this problem is just to work out where these two functions intersect. And to do this, we just set these functions equal to each other. So if I set x equals x times 4 minus x, then the solution to this equation is going to be exactly where these two functions intersect. So this is x times 4x minus x squared. I can put everything onto one side which will give us x squared, if I put it onto the left side, minus 3x equals 0. And then I can factor out an x, x times x minus 3 equals 0. So this tells us the places of intersection are when x equals 0 and when x equals 3. So the first solution, x equals 0, is just where they intersect at the origin. And so the one we really want is when x equals 3, because it tells us this is when these two curves intersect over here. And so now we know that the area that we're looking for, if I just denote it a, this is going to be exactly the integral between 0 and 3 of the top function, which is x times 4 minus x, subtracted by the second function, which is just x dx. And then we just need to evaluate this. So if I go over here, because I might run out of space, uh, integral between 0 and 3, if I expand this out, this is 4x minus x, which is 3x, minus x squared dx. And then if I go down here, we just need to evaluate this. This is 3x squared divided by 2 minus x cubed divided by 3. And then this is between the limits of 0 and 3. And then we just need to put these numbers in. So if we put 3 in first, we have 3 times 3 squared, which is 27 divided by 2. And then for the second term, again, 3 cubed is 27. So minus 27 divided by 3 this time. That's the first term if we put in 3. If we put in 0, then both of these terms are going to come out to 0 because we're just dealing with x's. And then we can simplify this a bit more because 27 is a multiple of 3. So this is 27 divided by 2 minus this actually comes out to be 9. 9 is just 18 over 2. So the final answer is going to be 9 divided by 2, or which is the same as 4.5. So this is exactly the area that we're after, the area between the shaded region of these two curves.